What's going on guys? This is Mike Annoyed and today we are going to be unboxing and using the NES Switch Online controllers. As someone who's in their early 20s, I wasn't too familiar with the Nintendo Entertainment System. I mean, the console came out in 1983 and I didn't even exist during that time. Even though I don't have any nostalgia for the system, I do recognize its importance in gaming history and appreciate the games that shaped franchises like Mario, Zelda, Metroid, and much more. I found different ways to play NES games besides owning the original console. I bought Virtual Console NES titles on my 3 3DS and Wii U, and I own the NES Classic. Hell, even the Famicom Classic. And of course, I am a Switch Online member which grants me access to a small selection of NES titles. The games look great on the Switch, and I even appreciate the fact that Nintendo added online multiplayer support to the multiplayer game so you can play titles like Super Mario Bros. 3 and Ice Climber with a friend. But wouldn't it be nice if you can play these games with actual NES controllers? Nintendo was prepared to answer that question as they offer the NES Switch Online controllers. Here to give you a closer look at these babies. Right. Yeah, right. That's right, for $60 plus tax plus shipping, you get two wireless NES controllers that allow you to play NES games on the Switch. If you wanted to buy these controllers, then you need to be a Switch Online member and order them off of Nintendo's website. Which makes sense because you need the membership to use the NES application, so it's kind of a hidden fee to consider when buying these controllers. I don't know about you guys, but $60 for these controllers are pretty expensive and when you add up tax, the $5 shipping fee, and mm, let's say a year of Switch Online, which is $20, you'll basically pay around $90. God damn! Luckily, these puppies have gone on sale for 30% off, which makes the overall cost of these controllers around $70. Of course, $20 off may still not be much incentive to buy these controllers at the discounted price, but seeing how the SNES controller has been out of stock forever, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get the NES controllers for myself, so I went ahead and bought them. So here is the box, it looks pretty much like the app icon on the Switch. To get these open, you just open it from the side, pull out the controllers, and take them out of the plastic wrapping. The controller looks pretty identical to the original thing. You have your D-pad select and start and A and B buttons. Of course, the major difference is that you have a L and R shoulder buttons as well as a sync button and the rail that lets you attach these to the switch. Both controllers you get are pretty much the same. You just have the arrows point in different directions. Here's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison with a NES Classic controller and a OG NES controller. Pretty much all of them look and feel the same. Attaching these controllers are pretty simple. You just slide them into the correct side, arrows facing down, and this is how you sync up and charge the left and right NES controllers. The switch even indicates that a NES controller is in use or attached. Well, I do admit this does look pretty stupid, but like I said, this is how the controllers charge. I mean, you can use the controllers like this to play games, however, it's not really comfortable at all. If you want, you can even use a combination of a Joy-Con and a NES controller as well. But of course, the best way to use these controllers is by using only one detached and playing a NES game. So now that we've unboxed the controller, let's go ahead and try them out. When you use the NES controllers in the app, the menu bar turns gray and you get some retro sound effects. The controllers do exactly what they need to do. You can use them to play NES games. You can take a screenshot using the L button, go back home using the R button, and pressing both of these buttons brings up the menu where you can create and load suspend points, reset the game, and go back to the game selection screen. If you hold down L and R, this will allow you to rewind the game, so if you mess up, you can just go back and try again. So you might get tired of playing some NES games, so what other games work great with the NES controllers? Both Dadish 1 and 2 are great games. They're both really fun platforming games that are about a dad radish trying to find his kids. The controls are pretty simple, you just need to move and jump so the controller is a great fit. A fighting game that has pretty simple controls, Pocket Rumble, is also a great fit with these controllers. It's pretty straightforward, all you need is your d-pad to move and two face buttons to fight and you're ready to rumble. The game was inspired by the fighting games for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, but the NES controller is simple enough to work on this game. 
And finally, Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light works great with the NES controllers. Well, because the game originally came out for the NES. Sadly, the game isn't playable through NES Switch Online, and Nintendo took the game down at the end of March. So if you were one of the ones to get the game, you can definitely use these controllers. Now, probably the biggest concern when these controllers were announced was that you can only use these controllers on the Switch. Good news is that you can hook these up to your PC since the NES controllers connect via Bluetooth. All you have to do is go into the Bluetooth settings and press the sync button on the controller and you're pretty much set. I was able to play some Game Boy Advance games like King of Fighters EX and Pokemon Fire Red using the controller. It's just a bit awkward to use the L and R buttons since they are pretty small. The best solution to that is to attach one of these bad boys and now you got some elevated shoulder buttons. Now for $70 these controllers are pretty expensive especially when you can buy a pro controller or a third-party controller that does the job as well I mean this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone these controllers were meant to capture the nostalgia for those who grew up with the NES and for collectors to get their hands on some official wireless NES controllers also I feel like I have to mention that there's no point to get these controllers if you don't have a switch because for one you need the switch online membership to purchase the controllers and I don't know why someone would have the membership membership if they don't have a switch. I mean I guess if you bought them on eBay or something. And two, you need a switch to charge the controllers. Just like the Joy-Cons, they don't have a port that lets you plug these in to charge. They have to be attached to the actual system. But besides all that, they do work just as advertised. You can play NES games with an NES controller. The controller is wireless. It feels like an original NES controller. You can play other games with similar controls and you can even hook this up to your PC and play even more classic Nintendo games that Nintendo just won't put on their damn systems and just being able to play my own NES Game Boy Game Boy Advance games on my PC with these controllers just makes these controllers worth owning I would definitely wait for another sale to buy these controllers since by the time this video is out the sale has already ended or maybe look for some cheaper third-party options if you don't care about owning official brand controllers well that's going to be it for today's video let me know what you guys think about the NES controllers and what your favorite NES game is down in the comments below thank you guys for watching and of course I will see you guys in the next one take care oh my god when are Nintendo restocking those damn SNES controllers man